we have uh, worked with uh, council, as <coughs> Chairman Aikman said, and have uh, put together an agreement. At this time, I will read that agreement. <coughs> Uh, this agreement is entered into between Union County acting through the Union County Board of Commissioners and the Union County Board of Education on the last date entered below. Recitals. The Union County Board of Education has publicly announced that it is considering a reassignment plan in order to relieve overcrowding in the Union County public school system. The Union County Board of Commissioners has received numerous contacts, public comments during commission meetings, phone calls and emails from parents of children who attend Union County Public Schools expressing their concern over the impact of school reassignment on their families, their neighborhoods, their communities, and their quality of life. However, the Board of County Commissioners does not have the legal authority to control whether the Board of Education implements a reassignment plan it is solely within the discretion of the Board of Education to make that decision. Dr. Mary Ellis and Dr. Mike Webb <coughs> informed the Board of Education in a PowerPoint uh, presentation on January 23, 2014, that adding mobile classrooms was an option to avoid reassignment, and that the cost of this option was $2,899,000 for 49 <coughs> new mobile classrooms plus $236,635 annually to operate them. Based upon bond savings and unassigned fund balance, the Board of Commissioners has determined that Union County has sufficient funds to make an appropriation of $3 million to the Board of Education to pay for the mobile classrooms that the Board of Education staff has stated or needed in order to avoid reassignment. The Board of Education has not requested an appropriation of funds from the Board of Education to pay for mobile classrooms. However, in an effort to avoid the adverse impact of reassignment upon the lives of students, parents, and the citizens of Union County, the Board of Commissioners took action on February 3, 2014 to offer to the Board of Education an immediate appropriation of $3 million for capital outlay to pay for mobile classrooms in order to avoid reassignment of students subject to the terms of this agreement. The Board of Education has decided to accept the offer of the Board of Commissioners for an immediate appropriation of $3 million for capital outlay and to use the funds to acquire mobile classrooms. A judgment was entered against Union County in Union County Superior Court on October 10, 2013 in a legal proceeding entitled Union County Board of Education versus the Union County Board of County Commissioners, 13 CVS 2063, the judgment. Union County gave notice of appeal from the entry of the judgment on October 17, 2013, and the matter is currently on appeal. <clears throat> it is the intention of the Board of County Commissioners and the Board of Education that this agreement and the appropriation made here under not affect the judgment or the appeal therefrom in any manner whatsoever, and not affect any amount that may eventually be determined to be owed by Union County as a result of the judgment. And the agreement. Pursuant to the offer of the Board of Commissioners, which has been accepted by the Board of Education, the Board of County Commissioners will immediately appropriate to the Board of Education the sum of $3 million for capital outlay to be used solely to pay for mobile classrooms to be used in the Union County Public School System. The Board of Education agrees to use the $3 million appropriation solely for the procurement of mobile classrooms. The parties acknowledge that this agreement and the appropriation of $3 million made here under are not intended as a compromise or settlement of either party's rights or obligations as they relate to the judgment or appeal taken therefrom. The parties further, further acknowledge that this agreement and the appropriation made here under are made without the Board of County Commissioners admitting the correctness or incorrectness of the judgment. The parties also acknowledge that this agreement and the appropriation of $3 million made here under do not and are not intended to constitute a waiver of the right of the Board of County Commissioners to raise as an assignment of error in the appeal 
the admission of any evidence by the trial court. Furthermore, the appropriation made under this agreement shall not be credited against any amount that may eventually be determined to be due by Union County under the judgment. And this is the agreement uh, that we are considering for approval, Mr. Chair. Thank you. If, if I Having could, heard that, yes, sir, Mr. Could I press the, uh, address the board? I, I want to make it clear uh, there is a statement or two in this document that the Board of Education has accepted this offer. That, that, that is not the case at the present time. What this document is intended to be is the offer uh, of the county commissioners to enter into this agreement with the Board of Education, but there is not at the present time, we understand, any agreement by the Board of Education to accept this offer of appropriation. That's the reason that language appears in here. This is the county commissioners <coughs> offer to enter, into, to enter into this agreement with the Board of Education should it agree to accept the offer of the appropriation. Thank you for that clarifying point. All right. Mr. Thomas. Um, and along that line, <clears throat> Mr. Bundy, I want to make sure that we've been as open and transparent with our, um, just because as we, we've learned in recent days, um, good intentions can go awry. Um, this has been shared with the exception, I think, for just a few smaller tweaks that we took action on this morning with Mr. Swartz, who represents the school board. Is that correct? No, this document has not been shared with Mr. Swartz. This has not been shared with Mr. Swartz.